Hey, welcome back everybody. This is another TTM video. Hope everybody had a great weekend. How's everybody doing? We've got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're going to get right into it. We get autographs TTM or through the mail. First one coming from San Diego, California. San Diego, home of Ron Burgundy. He's kind of a big deal. Oh, oh, it's the San Diego chicken. Time to get him again. Nice. Beautiful card. Good luck with your collection. The chicken, his rookie card. <laughs> Two and three. Three of three. And he signed a little note. Thanks for the good words. Good luck with your collection. Look at that handwriting. It's just gorgeous. The chicken, chicken, chicken. He's in the mascot Hall of Famer. So that's our first card. It's a Hall of Famer. The San Diego chicken, the famous chicken, the KGB chicken. Goes by in several names. A few lawsuits later. He uh, was one of the inaugural class of the uh, mascot Hall of Fame up there south shore of Lake Michigan. 25 inductees, eight college um Mascots and 17 professional mascots, including the chicken, the inaugural class. It was the chicken, it was the Philly Fanatic, and it was the um, Phoenix Suns Gorilla in the inaugural class back in 2005. That was before they had a building. Now they have a building, I think as of 2018. So you can go see it for yourself. Ten days, no fee for Mr. Ted Giannoulis, great signer. Next is coming from North Houston, Texas. Houston, Houston, Houston. Any of you guys watch Bob and Tom, listen to Bob and Tom on the radio? To Michael Doug Drabeck, times two and three. He does personalize. Look at that all-star card. Sweet. He used to get way off the rubber. Way down low. Big leg kick. Led the league in wins at 22, won the Cy Young Award in 1990. Led the Buccos to the playoffs where they lost to the Reds. But uh, we don't like to mention that part. Of it. Yeah, he was a big-time bulldog pitcher for the Pirates during that era. Hated to see him go. He left in 92 to Astros in free agency and kind of knew that was the beginning of the end for the Pirates' run there in the early 90s. Seven days, no fee. He pitched for 13 seasons, 86 to 98. 58 years old now. Doug Drabeck, Cy Young, 1990. One of these times we're going to get him to inscribe that on the card. What is this? Do, 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 do. All right, next up, coming from Parts Unknown. No postmark on this one. Snuck through the postal system. Does have a stamp, and there's Jose Tartable. Sweet, two and three. Nice. Sign the back of my note card. He does charge. Trying to figure out his charges. He's kind of an old timer, so doesn't get a whole lot of uh, autograph attention. His son does. His son Danny Tartable. We just got him back about um, I don't know about two weeks ago, probably. And, uh, yeah, he. I was joking then that his son Danny hit 232 home runs and Jose hit two in his career. And he's 82 years old. He's supposed to be $5 per card, but maybe he's three for 10. I sent him $10 and two cards. He signed three. Maybe he's three for 10. Who knows? What we do know is he's 82, played for nine seasons from 62 to 70. Kansas City A's, as you see there on his hat. And then the Oakland A's when they moved to Oakland. In between, he played for the uh, Red Sox for a couple seasons. Jose Tartable. Involved in a big play in the 67 run to the playoffs. There's get to get that autofocus in there. Something. What's going on here? All right. Who's next? Nashville, Tennessee. Coming up from Nashville. Is it Nashville or Nashville? Who knows? Grand Old Opry. There's speaking of the Grand Old Opry, Mike Reed, 
Signed two of three, including two of his rookie cards. Two 72 tops and a second year 73 tops. Knocking that quarterback down. Mike Reed, great player. All-American at Penn State. Outland Trophy winner at Penn State. We got to feature that rookie card. 72 tops. Looks like a young, hungry for football. Played about four or five years and had a, two Pro Bowl appearances and then um, injured his knee and his hand and kind of pushed him out of football, but he was ready to get into his next career, which was country music. Country music artist. He plays the piano, sings, writes music. He's in the country music Songwriters Hall of Fame, 2005 inductee. So that's our second Hall of Famer today. Kind of an odd way around it, but we've got the chicken who's in the mascot Hall of Fame and Mike Reed who's in the Songwriters Hall of Fame. We'll count them. All right, 27 days, no fee for Hall of Famer Mike Reed. Next up, coming from Indianapolis, Indiana. Indianapolis, Indiana. Maybe it's Bob, uh, Bobby Knight again. There's Bill Sampin again. All right. Look at that little thin black Sharpie he uses. Let's see if he signed all of them. 90 score, 90 tops, and a uh, 91 upper deck. Very cool signature. Very consistent. We're going to feature that upper deck card. Old pal Brett Jesse's building all those upper deck sets. More power to him. There's Bill Sampin. He is uh, 58 years old. Right-handed pitcher, as you can see. Five seasons, 90 to 94, mostly for the Expos, also for the Royals. 25 and 21 overall in his career. Quick return and a nice, beautiful, uh, legible signature. Bill Sampin, seven days, no fee. Next up, coming from the Berg, Pittsburgh, PA. Wish he would have. Sent a Primani Brothers sandwich along with this return. Hey, Shane Conlon. No hard card. That's fine. Three of three, Shane Conlon. We got to feature that Pro Set Legends card. Boom. Got the wild card and got the 90 Pro Set. Probably from our box break. I don't know. Pretty cool. He's 57 years old. Getting all these little guys in their late 50s. 57 years old, linebacker for nine NFL seasons, 87 to 95 for the Bills and for the Rams. Came in as a stud from another guy from uh, Penn State. He was an All-American too, like Mike Reed. And he was a defensive rookie of the year in his rookie season, 1987, three times in the Pro Bowl. He was in the College Football Hall of Fame for his time at Penn State in 2014. Not a bad NFL career either. He's on the Bills' 50th anniversary team. 51 days, no fee. 51 days, no fee for Shane Conlon. Next up, Mid-Island, New York. Mid-Island, New York. Sean Lindetta. Oh, man. <laughs> he is a devil trying to figure out what kind of signing habits he has. I sent him three cards. I was under the impression we got him figured out he was a three max and he doesn't sign dupes. If you send him more than three, he'll keep them. If you send him duplicates, he'll keep them. Now he's keeping other cards. <laughs> and he sent me this oversized card, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. He had a long, long career in the NFL. We're still trying to figure out his uh, TTM habits, though, so... I know I sent him an 80, 89 score supplemental rookie card. We'll have to figure that out. He liked that when he kept that. But he played forever. He played for 24, count them, 24 professional seasons. Three in the USFL, all three there. And then he came right over to the NFL and played the rest of that season in the NFL, and then in 85, and then played till 2006. <laughs> One of those rare guys on two all-decade teams making it 1980s All-Decade Team and the 1990s All-Decade Team. Seven-time All-Pro selection. 1,400 punts in his career. 60,000 punting yards. He's on the Giants' all-time team. He's on the Eagles' uh, all-time team, which is what they call their 75th anniversary team. And um, 
He's on the Rams 20th anniversary team. And then he's also on the USFL's all-time team. So pretty incredible career. We just can't figure out his habits on the TTM world, but we'll figure it out. 23 days, no fee. Next up, last one coming from North Houston. Houston, Houston, Houston. Open from Houston and closed from Houston. Is that what we did? Klingler on the two tall boys. Two game day cards. Nice. David Klingler. We talked about him before. We got him back, I don't know, August, maybe September, somewhere around there. I mentioned to you before, he's 52 years old now, quarterback, six NFL seasons, 92 to 97. Bengals, as you see, and then the Raiders. He was a superb college quarterback at University of Houston. Finished behind two other studs in 1991 for the Heisman vote, Ty Detmer and Rocket Ishmael. But um, we've talked about him before, considered a bust by many in the NFL because he didn't have a great NFL career like he did in college. But uh, he was happy being a second teamer, happy being a backup quarterback. He did uh, incredible athlete. He could throw the ball 85 yards in the air. He stands under the basket and slams two-handed without even taking a step. Um, he just wanted to be a backup, qualify for his pension, and get out. And that's exactly what he did. <laughs> then he moved on to something he had a passion for, which was uh, finance and investments. And uh, – Earns his pension every month from the NFL. Now he's working at a Bible uh, seminary, so got called a different direction. That's fine. 24 days, no fee for David Klingler. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Eight. San Diego Chicken. Ted Giannullis, 10 days. Doug Drabeck, seven. Jose Tartable, nine. Mike Reed, Hall of Famer, is 27. Uh, Bill Sampin, seven. Shane Conlon, 51. Sean Lendetta, 23. And David Klingler, 24. Give me a big thumbs up. Um, if you like what you see, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite. I like that Jose Tartable, that old 66 tops. He's got a rookie card, 62 tops. Looks like he's a, uh, <laughs> a hostage picture. It's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscription right there. And if you missed last Thursday's TTM video, click right there. You can watch it for the first time. Thanks for being with me today. We'll see you soon.